What's up, guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, welcome back. I hope you all had a great holiday season. I guess it's not over yet, but you know, the part where you potentially get presents and see family. I hope that was awesome. It's a couple days after Christmas. We are just getting around to filming. It was busy. Yeah. Holiday season is busy for everyone. Mm -hmm. So it was tough to get together and do a video and actually sit down and mm -hmm. put some time into it because yeah. we're so busy shopping and seeing family mm -hmm. and doing stuff. And Yeah. And that's the thing is we're still new to this too. So like doing that stuff, shopping and seeing family is not our second nature to pull out the camera yet. But we're doing this. Yeah. This is our... Uh, what are we this, doing? This is our <laughs> Christmas haul. So I see these videos everywhere. I've obviously been watching YouTube for a very, very long time. And these videos always come out after Christmas. I love watching them. So I figured we could do that as like a little Christmas video since we didn't put out anything else out. I heard someone else say this and it's like exactly how I feel. After Christmas is over, if you have Christmas money to spend or gift cards, it's also kind of cool to see ideas of what other people got to see if you kind of want to get that as well. So just as a recap of what we did as well, and this is a collection of kind of all the times that we saw our families. Mm -hmm. um, kind of the middle of the month, we went to go um, see, a couple, see Derek's family basically. And so we did some Christmas with their family, spent a lot of time, played some games, had a great time. In Orangeville. Um, Good old Orangeville. And then Christmas Eve and Christmas Day was with my family. So we also had, you know, lots of food, lots of laughs, Big. lots of tears. And we had a very nice little sentimental Christmas as well. So happy tears. Happy tears. It was just like, I don't know, it was really special. I love this time of year for spending time with people and seeing everyone and yeah. and getting to you know give things that are close to the heart so yeah you'll see some of that but surprisingly <laughs> yeah my side of the family was way louder than your side of the family this, this year true. So, <laughs> so, loud. True. so let's start with the gifts um there isn't going to be any particular order to this i'm just kind of kind of grab from my pile and uh we'll explain what it is and mm -hmm. what we got and this is something we asked for oh Fancy knife set. <laughs> we wanted a knife set. Specifically, I asked for a knife set and then a steak knife set separately. Right. Like if they could get one or the other. Yeah. Um, but my dad managed to find a set that came with both and it all came with this nice little block. Yeah. We had some knives. They were rusty and kind of gross. Yeah. Um, didn't really take care of them. We've only been using butter knives. They were dull. <laughs> to cut anything else. Yeah. So this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah is awesome this is like michael myers yeah quality. they're sharp come with a sharpener too yes some new scissors just a sleek like stainless steel yeah i it's wish supposed i supposed to not rust so hopefully they don't i wish i could tell you the company it's, I, it's I, heck here it's uh j a heckles international henkels henkel h-e-n Hen 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 <laughs> that was horrible i would say i'm the cooker between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. Would you admit yeah. that? Um, I, I love, you know, chopping up vegetables and getting stuff ready. So this is really mm -hmm. exciting for me. Adulting. Yeah. I never thought I'd be asking for a nice set for Christmas, honestly. Whereas, you know, I'm asking for this and then on the side, I'm buying myself Beyblades. Yeah. So. That's true. Him and his fiance also gave us a gift card to HomeSense, which we were gonna spend. You said him and his fiance and pointed at me. I was like, uh, you're my fiance. What? <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Her parents gave us some nice knitted socks. I should just bounce on that since I kind of showed it already. But my mom gave me a set of two. The other one's kind of still drying. These uh, double walled glass glasses. I think they're mostly meant for like coffee. Mm -hmm. um, but you obviously can use them for whatever, but I just, I'm recently obsessed with putting coffee, iced coffee, hot coffee in glassware. It is just keeps the, the heat and the cold in longer. Yeah, and it's, com compared and to... And it's very, oh, ceramic. Yeah, ceramic is, especially with hot coffee, those ceramic mugs that, you know, you always are classic with your hot tea and coffee. It actually, uh, the heat escapes quicker, so better to be put in glass. And but yeah, it's not these glass. are really, whoa. It is glass. It is glass. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I thought it was plastic. The whole time I'm talking about glassware and you're like, it's not glass. It feels like Don't plastic. Touch. It feels like plastic, anyway, I it's... swear. And then my sister gave us little salt and pepper shakers. Again, comes instead of two. The other one's already filled with salt. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, these little cute. Things. I think they're probably from HomeSense as well. They're mason little, jar. Little mason jar, teal 
Salt and pepper shakers, super like, cute. Perfect match to the walls in our house. Yeah. And then I guess I'll stay oh, yeah. on topic and <laughs> say that I got some glasses as well from Victoria's sister Erica. She gave me a set of Game of, Game of Thrones glasses. These are also really thick. I got a set of four? Four. Greyjoy, Stark, Targaryen, and Lannister. And they all have the sayings of their houses yeah. on there. Glassware and knives! Yay! <laughs> it's um, like the socks of being an adult. Yeah. Oh, and then I guess more homey stuff. I got some new soaps from Bath and Body. Always a classic. Always a staple. Always need. Yeah. I'm I always love, like... I love them. I'm always so bored by your soaps, but as soon what? as you bring them into the house oh, and yeah. I smell them, I'm like, these are the best smelling things in the world. I know. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, so interesting. And yeah. then you're like... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. My mom got us these little magnets for our initials. Just in case we forget. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I love initial stuff. Like, that's really cute. I've always wanted, and I love the color. Like, she, like, nailed sure. our aesthetic or my aesthetic. Your aesthetic. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Sure. Like, they're so I, cute. I like it. I love them. Um, I like magnets, so. Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Oh! Oh, my God. I fell. I'm just gonna grab this because it's like ginormous. They got me this. I don't know, really. What were we, we were watching the shopping channel. Yeah. It's called the Comfy. It's huge. I can't even show it on the camera. Comfy. It's called the Comfy. It's basically a blanket hoodie. So it's got the Sherpa on the inside, and it's like that velvety material with a hood in a pocket. It's so soft. It's so soft. It's so warm. It's so soft. It's like, it's, it's the like, best. It's like a Snuggie on crack. And it has, it's got the cuffs. Yeah. So yeah, you can just be wearing a blanket on the couch and get up and go get whatever you You know, need. I've been seeing, since we saw these on the shopping channel, yeah. I've been seeing so many people actually get these for Christmas. Really? Yeah. It's like, they blew up. Oh. And people cool. are saying like, I'm never going to take this off. <laughs> but like, as but soon it's as so <laughs> warm yeah, though. Exactly. Like actually I wore it and it was, I had to take it off after like 20 minutes because I was sweating. Yeah. It's really warm. Yeah. Okay. But if you get naked and just wear it, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Here, let's show this guy. My mat and nap purse. Mm -hmm. This comes with a big handle here, but I'll show you. Close up. This is something that she wanted. Um, something yeah. that she even picked out. I well, mean, yeah, I mean, I just saw something new on Matt and Nat, and I was like, oh, I love this. I just love how, like, professional it looks. It's just got, like, it has this middle compartment that you can, like, put all your important things that you don't want to fall out, and then, and then they have, like, side pockets. But yeah, I just thought it looked so, like, classy and professional. What do you know? <laughs> he was watching. <laughs> I was. I'm always watching. It actually accidentally became not a surprise. Yeah, let's talk about that. It. <laughs> let's I went talk to go about check that, Matt and Nat. <laughs> I went to go check the mail one day. It's not Matt and Nat's fault. It's yes, whoever, it is. It's whoever put it on our front doorstep. No, it's Matt and Nat's fault. They didn't put it on our front doorstep. But Matt and Nat sent it oh. a day early. Yeah, they sent it a day early. He hoped he planned it so that like I wasn't, I for sure wasn't going to be home. What happened was I was home and I checked, I, well, I was going to check the mail and I opened our front door and it was sitting on our front door. And if anyone doesn't know, Matt and Nat is a vegan leather company, by the way. So, <laughs> I'm yeah. vegan. Just, but just for, you know. Like a true anyone, vegan. Like a true vegan. You have I'm, to slide that in there. I'm not a vegan, but <laughs> I appreciate when something is ethically sourced and not hurting animals. Fair enough. I thought you were too embarrassed. I was, no, I was just hiding. Stop. I'm not embarrassed. This, is, this was a little bit of a mistake. I'm no, afraid. it's not a mistake. It was so sweet. You found this random company. They have this line that says, be kind with little bees on it. And I love bees. And I think so they're much... so important to the earth. Yes. I don't really wear yellow, but I love it. I think it's cute. It's really soft. He chose the right size. My logical mind thought that... You can't get a bee sweater without it being yellow. <laughs> yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Oh, black and yellow. No, it's, it's cute. I love it. It's yeah. the thought. It's I love bees and it's a big comfy sweater. Yeah. I love it. All right. So my big thing from Victoria, <laughs> which I'm super happy about, were these Audio Technica headphones, Bluetooth, and they're over the ear. Wireless, yeah. Bluetooth. That's what Bluetooth means? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wireless. Aww. 
<laughs> I specifically asked for over the ear because it covers my ears. It keeps them warm mm -hmm. while I'm listening to music. Mm -hmm. I love them. I love them so much. Yeah. And the sound quality is boo, and I don't have to deal with wires anymore. For those interested, the model is ATH M50X. Without a doubt, my favorite gift I've gotten in a while. Aww, yeah. that's so nice. Yeah. And then she got me Abbey Road vinyl. Mm -hmm. One of the many, many vinyls I put on my wish list. And I'm surprised I don't have a Beatles I didn't have a Beatles album. <laughs> yeah. It was really weird. And um, so yeah, this is this is amazing. It's one of my favorite albums by them. And also back in the day I took a picture of Brody and his friends reenacting this oh, did you? at Union Station. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little bit of a sentimental album too, so yeah. Thanks, babe. You did really well this year with gifts. Oh. <laughs> I um, do well. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I didn't know this existed. Um, you might think it's a Blockbuster VHS at first glance, but it is a Blockbuster party <laughs> game. Party Don't sticker. look at that. When we tried it with you and your family, I had the most fun. Oh my god, yeah. It, it's it's um, definitely for movie buffs. Yeah. And it has this cute little like VHS thing. The rules look like a little VHS. Yeah, there's a buzzer. There's a buzzer. <laughs> oh, it's not on. Yes. Like in the parking lot. So Come fun. on, get in the car. We gotta go. Friday night. Let's go watch yeah. our movies. And the little cards look like uh, cassette tapes or mini VHS. I don't know. But you go head to head with people and try to name off the most movies you can given a category. Movies with a spy. Movies mm -hmm. where someone goes to jail, etc., etc. And it's really fun. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try this out with people who will actually give me a challenge. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> but yeah. And she gave me a canister of Kalamazoo beard wash beard and face wash um i was i ran out and i needed some so. from lush next <laughs> these slippers that i haven't taken off since i got them they are the brand nook 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 i don't know if i just shoved that in your face real hard but yeah my mom also gave me this cardigan from old navy that she wore one day and i was like i love that and then she bought it <laughs> and i didn't know she bought it she also got me an Adidas sweater, which surprisingly I don't have black. I don't have a lot of black sweaters. Soft PJ set from Victoria's Secret. They're just joggers and then just a scoop. My God. Scoop neck and then joggers. And they came with slippers. <laughs> <laughs> so I have more You slippers. get two pairs, I get zero. Do you want to wear these? Mm -hmm. No, they're mine. Oh my God. Looks hilarious. Oh, and then she got me this lavender necklace. It's a little pendant, a little lavender. It's just a little pendant with a lavender on it. I love lavenders. Oh, and then she got like chocolates and. Mm. Oh, and then a Starbucks gift card. And yeah. You gotta love those chocolates. Mm. I'll eat most of it. <laughs> no, you won't. Was it just your mom, though, that got you that stuff? Oh, yeah, my it? mom and my dad, obviously. <laughs> I always do that because it's. I know my mom is picking it out. Yeah. I know. It's just, that's yeah, just the way it goes. Yeah, I know. What your mom and dad got mm -hmm. me, books mostly, a pair of jeans. First one I'll show is Stephen King's book, Elevation. It's a little tiny thing, probably the shortest shelf release he's ever put out, yeah, I think. Probably. I can't wait to read it. I mean, it was one of those books that he kind of just had to put out to keep up with his contract, but I'm sure it's quality. So I'm really, really stoked to dive into these. There's H.G. Wells, collection of H.G. Wells stories. Um, they have gold pages. And they're hardcover and really, really nice. Mm -hmm. That one, we got H.P. Lovecraft. A lot of guys named H. H something initials, H something last initials. names. Um, as a nice little octopus on the front cover and like a stained glass kind of artwork, really which cool. is really cool. The last one, Classic Tales of Horror. This is mostly, um, you know, Edgar Allan Poe, H.P. Lovecraft, Ambrose, whatever his name is, Arthur Conan Doyle, early 19th century stuff or early to late 19th century stuff. Like I said, she got me a pair of jeans because I really needed a pair of jeans. The only pair of jeans I had, I ripped a hole in them. Mm -hmm. If I'm forgetting anything, I apologize yeah. profusely. I just... Uh, I know. I yeah. We tried to put together a list. Listen to us talk like, oh, we got so much stuff. I, I can't remember anything. No, it's what I like to do is I just put things away immediately. Even when I'm like unpacking from somewhere, I like to just put stuff away right away where things belong. Yep. A little OCD. Um, so... Yeah. After I, I did that immediately, and then I was like, crap, like where I don't, 
where is everything? I asked for this on my list from Urban Outfitters because Urban Outfitters and their graphic tees, one, are the best, but they're so overpriced. And um, so I asked for this on my list, but they did go, it was a little bit on sale. So um, I was like, grab it now. <laughs> um, but this is like just a super oversized Van Halen graphic um, with holes in it. The back just looks like that. And yes, she paid extra for the holes. One of my Ooh. one of my sisters. Mm -hmm. She got me this little necklace with our dog that passed away last year. His name on one pendant and uh, his face on the other one, which is really cute. Super cute. A little sentimental. Uh, I feel like piece of him yeah. everywhere. Yeah, Tommy was a big part of Christmas too. Oh yeah. Like he always like ripped up the wrapping paper and stuff like that. So to have him still around in some way, it was yeah. kind of cool. I'll just go with what your sister's got me. Mm -hmm. More vinyl. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, we didn't even tell each other what we were going to get him and we all didn't get him in the same vinyl. Thank yes. God. <laughs> yes, that's true. Although I did give you a very, very it big was a list. Large list. Our Lady Peace Gravity, uh, best Our Lady Peace vinyl or album ever. Fight me on it. I don't care. <laughs> I love this album so much. Uh, nostalgic value probably, you know, amps that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I listened to this album so many times, and um, it sounds so good on vinyl. There are other Our Lady Peace songs that mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. a lot, but I wouldn't say the entire album I like. But this is the only album I like it from front to back. Like it's so good. So, yay. La La Land, the soundtrack to La La Land. I like how each vinyl I got was mm -hmm. something completely different. An amazing movie. Um, mm -hmm. I liked it more and more the more I thought about it. Mm -hmm. And the songs got more and more stuck in my head the more I thought about it. I'm a sucker for musicals. Mm -hmm. And I'm also a sucker for movie soundtracks. It's currently in the, oh. what, in the <laughs> record player. <laughs> Cynthia got me a gift card to Amazon. Oh yeah, Erica got me the glasses, the Game of Thrones glasses. I also got this little Lush thing. Um, it is a shower gel. Yeah. And it's called Yognog. Whatever that means. Apparently it smells amazing. She bought one for herself and then Have was like, I'm obsessed. It? No, because it's closed. I'm going to open it. Whatever. It has caramel scented lathers with a touch of spicy clove. Sounds good. Apparently it's amazing. She loves it. So she bought it for, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That smells nice. You don't like it. It's too like cookie. It's fine. It smells like a cookie. It's I fine. love it. I, I don't like know that. what it is, and I, I I can't explain why, but I feel uncomfortable when s like things that are supposed to smell like perfume, shampoo, soaps, or whatever. It smells like something you no, eat. No, no. Well, that and also are described in ways that are tasty. I know that smell and taste are very closely linked. Mm -hmm. It just it's just, it's weird to me when things are like That's that. That's so funny because me and my sister growing up are. I mean, obviously, until now, we've always loved things that smelled like things that you could eat. So that's so weird. That's um, so weird. She also got me another champagne pop, the Becca highlighter. Oh, it's the cream one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have, I have a bunch of the powder ones, but she gave me the cream one. Just whatever for all the makeup. Yeah, for lovers sure. out there. She also got me this little Valentino. Little, it's huge. <laughs> Valentino. This is the Donna, I believe. It's the Donna fragrance brush. Oh yeah, the brush. She works for L'Oreal too, so she kind of has, has access connections um, to the stuff. This is such a gorgeous brush, Giorgio Armani. It's so soft. <laughs> What was that word? It's swapped. <laughs> My main thing that I asked for was these Matt and Nat sunglasses. Oh, yes. I saw these and I was like, oh my God, I don't have anything like these. Like all my glasses are... And she has a lot of glasses. I have tons of sunglasses. I have an obsession. But all I really have is aviator styles from Key and like square ones that are like cheap from wherever. Wasaga Beach. Was it, yeah, exactly. But these, oh my God. Like... The style, this style is out pretty trendy right now, but yeah, they make me feel so like boss, like chic. Yeah. Boss to chic. It makes you look like you're in control of the yeah. room. Yeah. Well, wear them. It's sunny out today. Let's wear them today. I don't want to risk ruining them. Oh, that's why you get things. Yeah. <laughs> At the Santa swap, the secret Santa Yankee swap thing that we did with mm -hmm. my family after much deliberation and, and mm. chaos, I eventually ended up with this. Um, it is an alarm clock that has different light settings, daylight settings to wake you up in a fashion that says, you know, it's daytime and yeah. you're supposed to wake up refreshed and 
like the sunlight is on your face. Being in a basement apartment, this helps. I finally, oh. to nerd out a little bit, I got this Dragon Ball Z figure from my nephew. He knows me so well. This <laughs> is one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball Z. It's an amazing position and it goes nicely with the other one I have, his father, Vegeta, kind of hooks up right here. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they look awesome together on the shelf and I can't wait to get more. <laughs> So oh, awesome and then you bracelets. also gave me the bracelet stand, which will show, but right. it's on my dresser. Oh, and then also I just wanted to bring this out because I thought it was... <laughs> my best friend, we weren't supposed to do gifts this year, and then she was so cute and still got me this little T.Y. llama, because she knows I'm obsessed with llamas, and I had to show it because it's so cute! Look at its face! It was a very successful Christmas as far as presents go. It was a very successful Christmas, Christmas as far as hanging out with friends and family go. I just want to make sure everyone knows that we're appreciative and we're not just showing this because we're no. showing off. Like the main most important thing and the biggest gift was hanging out with everyone. It's not always dandy and like happy and for everybody. We've also had our years where it hasn't been the easiest and either way like you appreciate what you have and the family that you're surrounded by so yeah it's not always about this stuff so if you're not having the best year I hope this just made you happy and distracted I don't know <laughs> I don't know regardless yeah we just hope you have a good holiday season a warm one a loving one and ring in the new year with people that you appreciate and love mm -hmm. Even if it's just, you know, strangers at a bar that you're getting drunk with. It, lots of love can go into that, so. Yeah, we're going to go skating, so we're going to film that. Yeah, and sorry for not doing a movie tea uh, oh, yeah. with DNV this month. Like we said earlier, just got busy. We yeah. weren't able to do it. Before yeah. you guys go, we would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. Just to see all the content that's coming out and supporting us. It means the world to us. Uh, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, share it to someone who might like it so they can like it. Comment. Comment and let us know what you got for Christmas. We would we would like yeah. to know. That would be great. Share your ideas. Share the things that you got so other people can get ideas. It or would be awesome. what you're thankful for too. Open communication with <laughs> yeah. us. We love talking to you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. And all that loving and good stuff. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for following and watching. Bye. Bye.